The Pokes are not just the regional favorite anymore either. With regular exposure on national television, Oklahoma State has become a media darling. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Vern Lundquist, along with Dick Vermeil, and welcome to Stillwater, Oklahoma. Capacity crowds of 50,000 at Lewis Field and millions of television viewers around the country see a group of athletes dedicated to total team play. Cowboys special teams have a long history of exceptional performance. And the 1987 squad was perhaps the country's finest, finishing first nationally in kickoff returns, second in punt returns, and fourth in net punting. With four bowl appearances in the last seven years and eight victories in 11 bowl games, Oklahoma State has demonstrated the knack for meeting challenges head on. It doesn't take a genius to recognize that big defensive efforts are part of the winning game plan. Cowboy defenses take great pride in their reputation for hard-nosed, all-out physical play. Home to a fever pitch by assistant head coach George Walstead, coordinator Lewis Campbell, and assistants Johnny Barr and Kenneth Pope, OSU unleashed its particular brand of mayhem. Big A players David Bailey, Marcus Jones, Ricky Shaw, and Sim Drain haunted enemy backfields. While all league selections Jerry Deckard, Rod Smith, and Melvin Gillum spread havoc in the secondary. The credo is 11 men around the ball. From down linemen to free safety, these cowboys are living, breathing examples of the virtues of teamwork. Holloway goes back to pass. He looks downfield. He throws a long pass for Cavanius. Intercepted by Melvin Gillum at the 15-yard line. He's at the 20-yard line. Gillum to the 25 going laterally. A great interception by Gillum. And the rewards were there for all to see. OSU ranked second in the nation in turnover margin in 1987, picking off 17 enemy aerials and recovering 18 fumbles. <laughs> 1987, a year to remember for players and fans alike. A year of triumph, certainly. A year of awesome talent, definitely. But it was also much more. A year of togetherness and of unity that has become all too rare. I came here and, uh, you know, come from SMU, program closed. Thinking about not playing the last year, but I came here and had a chance to play and I enjoyed myself. And I feel good. I want to be remembered as, you know, as a player going out and giving us all uh, every game. Uh, you know, that's the way I've established myself around here. Uh, go out and practice hard and go out in the game and just give it my all. And but I just want people to remember me that, you know, Thurman Thomas is a hard worker. He goes out and does the right things. And the words of Thurman Thomas would serve as the watchword for the entire squad. Hard work would pay off with an invitation to one of the great bowl games in the land. Here in El Paso, Texas, and across the Rio Grande and Juarez, Mexico, Christmas Day is being celebrated. The population of this international twin city, a million and a half. It is the largest area on the Mexican border which joins the United States. And today we focus on the Sun Bowl here in El Paso. Despite some nasty weather, we are going to have a near capacity crowd for this showdown between West Virginia and Oklahoma State. Welcome, everybody, and a very Merry Christmas. We certainly hope you're nice and warm and snug where you are, and we think we're going to bring you some exciting college football here this afternoon. And let me bring in my colleague, Pat Hayden. Pat, a very Merry Christmas to you, too. 
One of the oldest and most renowned of college bowls, the John Hancock Sun Bowl, pits OSU against one of the established powers of Eastern football, the Mountaineers of West Virginia. For the 9-2 Cowboys, this game is an opportunity to move into the country's top ten. From the opening whistle, they pull out all the stops. Gundy gets the ball off Norman Thomas, pitches it back to Gundy on the flea flicker. Looks downfield, throws for Dyke, hands him at the 30, he's at the 25-20. 15, 10, puts the shoulder down, tackled inside the six, at about the five-yard line. to Thurman Thomas over right tackle, down to the three, to the two, to the one, into the touchdown for Oklahoma State. Thurman Thomas over right tackle. With the Cowboy offensive line opening huge holes, Thurman Thomas has a field day, and his running provides the impetus for a tremendous offensive performance. He gets off the Thomas, gets in the backfield, gets away. Cuts into the six to the five. The two to the one touchdown, Cowboys. Oh, that was Thurman Thomas. Thurman Thomas, touchdown of nine yard run. The pudding is treacherous, but the big hits which have made the Cowboy defense famous are still very much in evidence. Eventually, such pressure pays dividends. Well, Major Harris fakes the handoff, back to pass. He throws downfield, long pass, intercepted by Terry Deckard at the 15-yard line. Trailing at the half, the Cowboys rededicate themselves in the third period with Thurman Thomas as the leader. Gundy gets the exchange, gives the ball to Thomas, down the middle, to the two, to the one, touchdown, Cowboys! A nice run by Thurman Thomas and great blocking by Chris Stanley, Mike Wilker, and John Colbert. Total team effort typifies the OSU comeback as the Cowboys take the dominant role on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Ronnie Williams, the only wide receiver on a third and five from the six. Gundy takes the handoff. Gundy fires the pass. Touchdown, Cowboys! To J.R. Diller. And he does a little dance in the end zone. The Cowboys have tied it at 27. Gundy drops straight back to pass. Gundy looks. Everybody's covered. We can look down and see that. Gundy scrambles out of the pocket. He looks. He throws the pass downfield. It's caught at the 20-yard line. And down in eight. They want a great play. Hey, Gundy gets the ball to Thomas over the left tackle. Jumps in at the two to the one. Touchdown, Cowboys! Thurman Thomas scores his fourth touchdown on a four-yard run over the left side. In this wildly entertaining football game, a record-setting fourth touchdown by Thurman Thomas puts the Cowboys on top 35 to 27. In keeping with the seesaw nature of the contest, West Virginia tallies with just over a minute remaining. They will go for two, looking to tie it up. Major Harris gets the exchange, rolls right, looks, still looking, dangles back to his left, he's in trouble, retreats all the way back to the 15-yard line, throws a pass, caught at the one-yard line, tackle short of the goal line. What an exciting play as Sean Mackey made the... The Cowboys prevail. Bedlam reigns. It's an incredible finish to an incredible year. A year which will always be recalled as the times of our lives.